want regime change, the people who want an Iran that represents the values of the people of Iran, not the mullahs and those who came to power unlawfully and by violence. The current regime, let there be no mistake about it, is the most dangerous regime in the world since the Nazis assumed power in the 1930s in Germany. Yeah. And remember the comparisons. In the 1930s in Germany, every reasonable person should have seen when Hitler came to power that he wanted to conquer all of Europe. And they allowed him to do it because they appeased him much the way the United Nations and even the United States yes. has appeased this Iranian regime. Yes. You know, it was no secret what the Germans wanted to do in the 1930s. Their own Minister of Information, Joseph Goebbels, said that the new Reich Chancellor is the man who wrote Mein Kampf, who says this and that. And he said if he were the head of France or the head of England in the mid-1930s, he would have said, this man cannot be tolerated in our vicinity. Either he disappears or we march. But they didn't do it, Goebbels continued. They left us alone and let us slip through the risky zone, and we were able to sail around all the dangerous reefs. And when we were done and well-armed, they then went to war. That's the fear we have about Iran. If Iran were ever to develop a nuclear arsenal, they would become even more dangerous in their exporting of terrorism than they are today. Right. We cannot appease this administration. No. We must fight this regime yes. and replace yes. it yes. with a regime yes. of secular democracy of the kind that this group has put forward with its brilliant 10-point program. We must not look to the past of Iran. We must look to the future, a free future, a future under the leadership of democratically elected people. Look, I was a, I'm a criminal lawyer. I was arrested once in my life. I was arrested in Geneva when the United Nations invited Ahmadinejad to speak. And I went over to Ahmadinejad and I confronted him. And I said, I challenge you to debate me on whether the Holocaust existed, but the debate has to take place in Auschwitz, where the evidence is. And the Geneva police pulled me away and arrested me. It was one of the proudest moments of my life to confront that evil. There is one major difference, even between Nazi Germany and Iran. The people of Germany actually elected Hitler, and they actually supported Hitler during the 1930s. The people of Iran would never do that. They are good people, they are decent people. They are people who love democracy. They are people who looked forward. They are people who, as the previous speaker said, don't want a bomb, they want food on their table. They don't want American sanctions to be eliminated so that bombs can be built. They want American sanctions to be eliminated so that progress can be made and that people of Iran can have the same rights that people in this city have to make their own decisions about their own destiny, not to be told what to do, not to be told who they can speak to, what clothing they can wear, and what people they can associate with. The freedom of Iran, the freedom of the people of Iran, is essential to the future of peace in the world because the current Iranian regime poses the greatest dangers. And if you think that Iran would be satisfied with taking over Lebanon, with taking over the Gaza Strip, with taking over Yemen, with now they have their eyes on the Sudan, that's just misleading. That's right. If Iran is allowed to continue its policies of taking over the Middle East, their terrorists will be coming to a theater near you in this country. Right. And so this is a fight, not only for the people of Iran, not only for the people of the Middle East, this is a fight for the future of the world. Yes. Every one of us 
should be in this fight. That's Every right. one of us should be pushing. You are the freedom fighters. You are fighting for our freedoms, and we have to fight for your freedoms. Yeah. And I have one word. We must take this regime down. Yeah. This regime must end. There is no compromise with the kind of evil that we're seeing today yes. in Tehran. And I have one wish, a simple wish. I want to come back here next year. I want to speak next year. But next year I want to speak to the people of Iran who will have their own leaders at the United Nations. misleading, it's wrong. Right. And so my goal for you, my goal for us, my goal for the United Nations is a year from now, a free Iran. Woo! Let's celebrate